That's totally tops. All right. <clears throat> Is it uh, rolling? All right. <clears throat> Welcome, Kruger Mansion fam. I'm your host, Nick Schneider, also executive producer. I don't need to, you know, toss titles out there or anything. Welcome to another character introduction. Today's character introduction is, of course, Fargo. For next week's choice, we have these lovely options for you right here. So be sure to comment down below uh, who you want to see next. Every character is actually pretty awesome, so you can't go wrong, but also you have to choose. We are going to be talking about the lovely but kind of difficult Fargo. So Fargo brings a lot to this show, and I'm really excited for you all to see uh, that come alive on screen. I'm excited in general for this first episode to actually make its debut here in a few months. Watching everything come together has been awesome. All right, Kruger Mansion fam. We're going to be talking about the backstory behind Fargo Sorensen and exactly what purpose she may serve. Within the city of Tampa, Florida resides the small Sorensen unit. Fargo was raised by a single father who embraces people for their merit. He is a successful international businessman with an apathetic attitude. Mr. Sorensen has always gotten what he wanted due to his powerful personality, which would pass down to his daughter. He has instilled in Fargo that if she wants to pursue something, she needs to be committed. Otherwise, people would never take her seriously. When she was very young, her father took her to the Olympics, where he met with several of his foreign business associates. During this trip, Fargo became entranced by the competitive nature and worldwide support that the athletes had. She was inspired and eventually told her father about her dream to become a world-renowned female Olympic swimming gold medalist. Mr. Sorensen thought this was an acceptable ambition and afforded her swimming lessons by nationally ranked professionals. She would compete in meets at the age of 12. She was a very competitive athlete with much promise. However, during her fifth meet, she took third place. Her father discontinued her professional lessons and stopped showing up to her meets. She immediately discovered that her father wasn't there to support her but he was there to endorse their name by way of her success. If she couldn't win, then it was an embarrassment to their bloodline. Fargo was mad at her father, and she wanted to prove to him that he made a mistake. This event would turn Fargo into a cold and intense person. She didn't need his validation or love, just his respect. She wanted to outplay her opposition, and her biggest enemy was her father. She wanted to prove to him that she is not an embarrassment and that she is better than him. Fargo knows exactly what she wants and she will stop at nothing to get it. She trains two to three hours each day in the water. She takes her craft very seriously. Fargo became an elitist athlete who would date the wealthiest and most popular guys but treat them like scrubs. She drove the fanciest cars and merited the shiniest trophies people would either avoid her powerful personality or respect it. During her senior year, her father started attending her swimming meets once again because she became undefeated in her state. Fargo Sorensen is an athlete with immense drive, which could prove useful in unlocking the mysteries of Kruger Mansion. All right, Kruger fam. Now that you have a little insight into Fargo's backstory, let's dive into the pros and the cons. So for the pros, Fargo is incredibly tenacious, goal-oriented, and she has great instincts, but she's almost obsessive in her drive to get what she wants. So let's break down the first few. So being goal-oriented and tenacious and having great instincts is something that is going to help her tremendously in a competitive environment, which this is. In terms of attributes that may actually hurt her, as I said, she can be a bit obsessive and she's also a bit apathetic and blunt. She's somebody that sees straight to her goals and if something isn't doesn't help her to forward those, then she kind of just doesn't care. And so it can be a bit of a detriment to uh, her relationships with others, which of course, in a competitive environment that relies on others, 
that can be a detriment for sure. With the pros and cons in mind, I want you all to comment down below of what sort of role you think Fargo is going to have in this series. How far do you think she's going to make it? Do you think these pros that we just talked about are going to carry her across the finish line? Or do you think she's going to be somebody that gets voted out very quickly? Be really interested to know you guys' thoughts down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, that way you can catch more awesome videos like this and more of this beautiful face and <clears throat> voice. <clears throat> um, anyways, uh, no, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> anyways, guys, we love you so much. We are excited for all the content that we're going to be bringing you. We hope that you are too, and we will see you soon. So may fate smile upon you, house guests. Uh, that's totally tops.